So news just dropped. The Packers are trading Rasul Douglas to the Buffalo Bills. Ian Rappaport reports here. Says source Packers DB Rasul Douglas to the Bills. He then says comp update. It's a third to the Packers who send Rasul Douglas and a fifth rounder to the Bills. So the trade deadline is about to happen uh, in about an hour or so. And up to this point, the Packers had not made many moves. And I think now seeing this move happen, Rasul Douglas going to Buffalo... It signifies tons of things, which we already knew. That the Packers do not have a competitive team. They are not going to be competing for the playoffs this season. And with that being the case, Brian Gutekind's clearly doing what he can to prepare for the future, get some draft capital. With this move, the Packers basically move from their fifth-round pick to a third-round pick. So that is a positive. But Rasul Douglas has been a, a great player since he came in, since the Packers signed him off the Cardinals practice squad a few years back. In March of 2022, the Packers gave him the three-year, 22 million or 21 or 22 million dollar contract extension to stay here in Green Bay, and he's played really well, especially this season. I think that Jair, dealing with some of his injuries, has not played quite as well the past few few games, especially last week against the Vikings. He missed some games before that with injury. And Rasul Douglas has definitely been the highlight of this Packers secondary this season. He's played very physically, very very good cornerback. And with the Packers playing as poorly as they have, they are in sell mode. Um, the Bills obviously get a great cornerback here in Rasul Douglas to bolster their secondary. And the Packers, with a very, very young team, just make a move to try to get draft capital for the future. And so, considering the Packers' defense has already struggled so much this season, more so than I would have hoped. Um, you know, you see all the first-rounders we have on this defense with, you know, like eight first-round picks. And still, in, th- in Joe Barry's third season, we can't seem to be better than average. I think right now we're around 20th in scoring defense. And Rasul Douglas has been one of the bright spots. And so, for the rest of the season, this Packers defense is likely going to take a hit with Rasul Douglas being unable to, I mean, not being on this Packers roster anymore. And I think when you look at the Packers corner room, obviously we still have Jair Alexander. Eric Stokes was just sent back to the IR recently. I think in the future... When you look at replacing Rasul Douglas, once Eric Stokes comes back, if he can get back to how he played his rookie season, um, I think that'll be fine for the Packers to go with Jair and Eric Stokes. Right now, I I think we'll see some Carrington Valentine, seventh rounder from this season, maybe some Corey Valentine as well out there on the outside. Um, But it's just a tough, it's tough to be in this spot for the Packers because you never want to be a seller at the deadline. It means your team stinks. Obviously, it's going to help the Packers in the future as they build and try to fix all the issues here with draft capital. Now, of course, we have two second round picks from the Aaron Rodgers trade. So next season, we'll have a first round pick, two seconds. Um, Now we'll have at least two thirds at the time being. And the Packers have so many different holes to fix. And even with Rasul playing well, even with Rashawn Gary just getting a massive contract, the Packers have not able to have been, been able to have success on the defensive side of the ball. And so um, we'll see what happens going forward. We'll see if the Packers make any more trades today. I, I'm not so sure. Uh, we do have a few other veterans who could be potential targets. Maybe Preston Smith. I doubt it, but you never know. I didn't think Gutekinds would come in here and make a trade as he did right now. So it's sad news. It's sad news. I love Rasul Douglas. Um, you know, it's an underdog story coming from the Cardinals practice squad. Played great here with the Packers. And now he's on the Buffalo Bills. So that is the news. I'll keep you up to date with more Packers news if it does come out. And if you want to make sure you get all that, you can turn on my post notifications. That way you never miss any Packers content. But that is it for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.